to move one of these wheels in one direction, so for instance the shadows towards cool, and the highlights in the opposite direction towards warm. Now notice something cool that happens. Eric's f face gets a little more distinctly flesh colored, whereas the background starts disappearing into this sort of uh, low saturation version of this teal color. So I'm just going to toggle the effect off so you can see the before and the after. So just with those simple uh, pushing and pulling of the shadows and the highlights, or the lift and the gain, we're already um, maybe just a little bit closer to a Transformers look here. Um, but we can go farther. We can actually even introduce a little bit more of that bluish teal color into the midtones, and then fight back even harder with the highlights. And then in order to create contrast, we're going to brighten up highlights, darken down, crush a little bit of black, and now we're going to go into saturation, and we're just going to juice it. <laughs> and now if we go back to... Uh, all right, well, maybe we, maybe we actually juiced it a little too far. It's good to know there are limits, even in Michael Bay's world. Um, okay, so how are we doing? We have a pretty good Transformers look. Maybe our shadows could be a little more on the blue side. And that, you notice, I adjusted that. I have to fight back with the highlights, otherwise Eric starts looking a little funny. So it, it's easy to see why a colorist wants to have their hands on all of these knobs at once and moving them all in concert with each other. Um, that's going to uh, make uh, your life a lot easier. I wish I could give that to you in Colorista, but I, I don't have the power to do that. So you're going to have to do the best you can with just uh, nudging them one at a time. All right, so now we've gone from this uh, shot here with no color correction on it to sort of a Transformers look. And, um, you know, what else? The other things you'll notice throughout Transformers is that there's a lot of... Um, manipulation going on in the DI phase and there's there's a lot of creativity and and fun being had with the effects in the DI and um, like here's an example of a shot where you might feel like you almost see sort of a bright rectangle around Shia here and in fact you would be not wrong to think that um, neither Stefan nor uh, uh, Michael Bay are shy about using their power windows and one of the things that people sometimes ask about Colorista is, you know, can you actually um, do anything with only, uh, you know, a rectangle and ellipse as your, uh, as your, as your only form of, color, of, of uh, controlling where the color uh, correction is applied? And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say that <laughs> if, you, uh, if you think that the color correction in any movie that you've seen recently is any good, then you are... Uh, then you've proven to yourself that squares and circles are enough to do good color correction because, in fact, that is all that Da Vinci has. Uh, it's not entirely true. The Resolve has a little bit more than that, but almost no one ever uses more than just the square and the circle. So um, just for fun here, I'm going to do something that I've seen done a lot in, uh, these, uh, in the Transformers movies here, which is to take an odd vignette, not just a normal sort of round vignette, but sort of a customized squarish or roundish vignette uh, feather it out and use that to kind of control the light a little bit. We shot this outdoors with, in kind of semi-uncontrolled lighting conditions. And now that I've bright or darkened down that, I can maybe go in here and brighten up the highlights around Eric just even a little bit more to really pop him out there. And uh, now... We'll turn all the effects off before and after. We've really gone crazy with it, and we've really created a sort of Transformers-ish kind of a look. Um, all right, so that's Transformers. Um, let's uh, move on to almost the polar opposite of that, which is Terminator Salvation. So Terminator Salvation is a gritty sort of bleach bypass kind of look. And of course, when, whenever you think about Bleach Bypass, you probably think about uh, jumping into Magic Bullet Looks, where, of course, Bleach Bypass is just a preset. And easiest thing in the world is to go in here and grab one of these many sort of uh, presets that are... grab one of these many presets that are based around Bleach Bypass. Um, but I don't want to suggest in any way that a preset is the same thing as color correction. Um, a preset 
you know, we've got our bleach bypass here. We've got some diffusion going on. Um, a preset is just a starting place. A preset is not something to use instead of color correction. I want to make sure that uh, I say that again for the cheap seats. A preset is not to be used instead of color correction. But the same color correction that we enjoy inside of, um, inside of Colorista, we can actually use uh, inside of uh, Magic Bolt Looks as well, uh, Lift Gamma Gain. So again, uh, you, again looking at uh, Terminator, lo and behold, even though there's very little color in this scene, and even though <laughs> it looks like it's been bleached to within an inch of its life, Everything's kind of in this olive drab, military fatigues kind of color. Uh, you know what? Christian Bale still got a little skin tone left in him, whereas the background is this sort of desaturated version of that teal color. Um, so that's why you'll notice that saturation being pulled down is a part of the uh, is a part of the bleach by bypass preset, and you know what? I'm going to take my lift gam again. I'm going to move it in front of the saturation, so that no matter what I do with lift gam again, uh, I can't override the fact that I'm sucking color out of this like crazy. So let's uh, go in there and do that same exact formula. Push those shadows down towards teal. Push those highlights up to get some color back in Eric. Doesn't take much. Maybe just lift up the midtones a little bit because as, as contrasty as it looks, people are still people colored. Now, what's great about this is how the diffusion uh, is working to help us. If we uh, turn that off, we can really see it. The diffusion is not only kind of brightening up the scene a little bit, but it's softening out the light. And that's actually one of the characteristics that I think you'd be surprised to learn about uh, Terminator Salvation is that it has this kind of look where the light kind of bleeds around and it, a lot of a lot of times there's a lot of light sources in the scene and so if your footage has any kind of you know in fact if you look at these shots here they don't look very contrasty you you think you're seeing a lot of contrast in this movie but in fact you're seeing a pretty uh big uh sort of diffused kind of wash of of color and light um so hopping back to looks builder I'm actually going to um expand the size of this first uh diffusion even more to really emphasize that and uh, just popping back to my reference in QuickTime, uh, I'm seeing a lot more green in those shadows there, so I'm going to go ahead and pop over to Lift Gamma Gain and pull my shadows more towards that sort of olive drab color. Now again, based on my theory, I never adjust the shadows without also adjusting the highlights. That causes me to roll highlights around a little bit more to get a little more color back in there. Uh, I still haven't gone green enough. Well, I'm going to bring Gamma into it. I'm going to push those midtones towards pure green. In doing so, I'm getting a lot of sat extra saturation in there. That's one of the things to note. Um, I'm going to let those highlights stay a little bit yellow. Now I'm starting to get that green color. And if anything, now I have too much saturation, so I'm going to knock that back my saturation a little bit. All right, now I'm getting my... Uh, my Terminator Salvation look using Magic Bullet looks. Now I could probably get a pretty credible Terminator look using just Colorista, but I really think that for this look, a big part of it is getting that diffusion in there. I really like that that part that aspect to it. In fact, I might even go back in, and uh, as happy as I am with the way that looks, I might even go into my lens category and just add my good old vignette. Comes off the truck a little bit a little bit amped. So I'm just going to turn the strength down. And in fact, maybe since I know Eric doesn't move around so much in the shot, I'll just center it up on him a little bit. And now I've got a little more focus on my, on my guy here. Again, shooting under available light, doing whatever I can to try to give a sense of uh, lighting and focus to the shot. All right, so there's Magic Bolt Looks doing a Terminator Salvation. All right, so let's hop back to QuickTime, see what's next. Uh, well, taking a Pelham 123. Now, Pelham 123 lives in this weird kind of world that's somewhere in between Transformers and Terminator. Um, but one thing about uh, Pelham is that you'll notice, um, like uh, Terminator, the shadows are really green. But like, uh, like Transformers, the, uh, the, the palette is very poppy. Um, so I'm going to go back 
to another, a new shot here. 